So the question now becomes, if we know that one rotation of one of these tires is about 83 inches, knowing that that's an approximate measurement, how do we use this to do math? What problems can we solve with it? And really, why do we care? So when we know how far we can travel on one spin, one rotation, one circumference, one cycle, whatever we want to call this. We can take this and do some math with it. <clears throat> so we know that one rotation is approximately 83 inches. We're going to say 84 actually because my measurement was approximate. I just spun the tire and honestly 84 is easier to work with. 84 inches can easily convert into 7 feet. We divide by 12, use our conversion factor. That 7 feet is much easier to work with. So then we can set up what's gonna be a proportion. Our seven feet for every rotation, we can then use to transfer to say five rotations. Or if we want to look at a much further travel, 500. So how would we do this? What math would we do? And how many feet am I gonna get? And then let's go ahead and pose this problem. What about if we wanted to calculate How many rotations it's going to take to travel one mile? We can utilize the techniques that we know involving equations because a proportion is really just um, a multi directional equation. My one rotation is going to be equivalent to five rotations as my seven feet is equivalent to the unknown amount of feet here. So if I know how I go from my denominator to my denominator, I can know how to go from my numerator to my numerator. Here, all I do is multiply by five. So I'm gonna do the same thing on top and get that this will be 35 feet. I know that going from one to 500, I multiply by 500, but I also know that I can just multiply by 100 here and shift my decimal over two places and I get 3,000 500 feet. Now the question really is this mile. This is where it gets tough, right? Because, well, my numerators right now are in feet. Now we're asking about a mile. But this isn't that hard if I realize I know a mile is, what color chalk? Let's go white. Five tomato. 5,280 feet. All I need to know is how to get to 5,280 feet from any of these values in the numerator or any value that I could generate. So think about that. How do we know if I can't or it's not that easy to work this direction? How do I figure it out the other way? Well, if I know that I can go left to right through multiplication techniques, what about figuring it out going right to left using division techniques. So if I take my 5,280 feet and divide by the seven, I can figure out how much I need to multiply by. And that's a bigger number. Might as well make sure our math is good. 5,280 feet divided by seven is about 754. So if that was my value for one rotation, then I now know that to go from my one rotation all the way down to my mile or my 5,280 feet, that is gonna be times 754. So every time I travel a mile on my bicycle, I've gone, or my wheels have rotated 754 times.